What's Trending presented by Tim Daly Nissan, part of the Tim Daly Auto Group serving Utah since 1968. Big 12 tournament basketball underway today. In fact, in roughly like 30 minutes. 31 minutes, uh, the first game tips off. And that naturally leads us to this conversation, Jason, with BYU in Kansas City. It's a Kansas City day on BYUSN for sure. Who would you rather the Cougars play in the second round, UCF or Oklahoma State? And why do you lean towards one of those teams over another? Uh, the good news is I think BYU is going to beat whoever they face. Okay. Uh, so, but it may surprise some, may surprise you, that the team that BYU beat twice is the team that I'd, I probably would least rather face. Okay. That being UCF. All right. BYU split with Oklahoma State. We certainly know what happened in Stillwater and played Oklahoma State most recently to end the regular season. I think I like the matchup better with Oklahoma State, despite what we've seen in those games where you had, had some guys that aren't necessarily lighting up the scoreboard, okay. got into a rhythm. I, I, I think it's, it's more about what UCF has shown me throughout the whole year. Okay. UCF has been one of those teams that has taken everybody by surprise, like BYU. You know, people did not expect UCF to do very much in basketball to the level that they have done. And, and I understand that maybe the overall record is not great, but they, some of their wins have been against some of the upper echelon teams in this conference. Kansas and Texas Tech yeah. notably. So that they have shown the ability to get up for those big games. And certainly taking on BYU the higher seed, a team that's already beaten you twice. They beat you in Orlando, they beat you here in Provo. They, I don't know if we're going to see if that's the matchup, if we're going to see 40-plus free throws being shot again. No. But I just they, – they feel different to me and would come in with a little bit more confidence than what an Oklahoma State team would, even though they have one victory against BYU. Yeah, the loss to BYU is permeating in the minds of Oklahoma State players. If the scout is there, you're not going to be different than you were a few days ago, right? Like – BYU and Oklahoma State are what they are right now. And Mark Pope just said, after beating Oklahoma State by 14, we're healthier than we've been all season. So, uh, yeah, Oklahoma State probably, uh, they, they have a significant challenge if they get to take on BYU again. The Cougars should feel good. Not great because every game is tough. But, like, if I'm BYU and I get Oklahoma State again, I'm with you. Like, I want that team. I just played them. We just did the scout yep. on that team. We figured out some things after BYU lost the first time to Oklahoma State, rectified it, and on a neutral on a neutral site against a team that's played 24 hours earlier and expended a bunch of energy, give me Oklahoma State. Now, we just showed you a graphic. This is why I feel so strongly of why I don't want BYU to face UCF. Look at the last five games from the Knights. They beat Texas Tech by 14. They won at Oklahoma State. Yep. They pushed Iowa State to the brink, ultimately losing by eight. But still, they were one for 19 from the three-point line in that game. They make a few threes. They got a legitimate shot of beating Iowa State. They pushed Houston. Had to leave in that game until about 12 minutes left. And then they won at TCU most recently, Jason. Like, they won three of the last five. Yeah. UCF's feeling good. I know they're 7-11 and 11 overall, but they are quote-unquote, peaking at the right time compared to Oklahoma State. Uh, Oklahoma State lost a close game to Oklahoma, lost to UCF, got blown up by Texas, got blown up by Texas Tech, and got blown up by BYU. Now, you tell me, do you want to face a team that's 3-2 and two in the last five with wins against Texas Tech and at, at TCU or the team that's lost five straight games going into the Big 12 tournament? Yeah, I want to take on Oklahoma State. Between the two. Okay, so let's, yes. go, let's take this question then one step further. It's who we want. Who do you think BYU is going to face? We're I, obviously 20, 25 minutes away from this game tipping off. H how do you think that one's going to play out? Because I think it's going to be UCF yes, that wins the I, game. I believe that UCF will win the game. They yeah. are favored to win the game. They should win the game. But hoping yes. that Oklahoma State can solve some issues defensively. And UCF's offense has struggled at times. Like sometimes they go in these long scoring droughts and – just maybe Oklahoma State can end the five-game drought and get on an uptick. But 
it's going to take a lot to beat UCF. UCF wears you down. They are so, so long yeah. and athletic yeah. defensively. Like, they, you're exhausted after you play against UCF. So, even better, if Oklahoma State can beat UCF, now you're dealing with a team that, yes, beat the Knights, but they're exhausted having played that style of basketball. And they got to turn around and take on a BYU team that just beat them. See, for me, for me this boils down to, and I, I know it sounds like we're being homers here, but if BYU goes out and plays the way they have shown they can win, I don't think it matters who they play here. This really, we always, when we do the, we do interview players all the time, and how many times have we heard players say, we're just going to worry about us. If we take care of our business, we're going to be fine. I, I think th this legitimately is the case for BYU because of how this team is designed. With the, it's so perimeter heavy, as we've seen, if BYU's making their shots from the outside, you're not beating them. If they struggle, that's when the opposition has a chance to pull the upset. The magic numbers are make at yes. least 10 threes and shoot over 32% from the three-point line. If BYU can get into a rhythm from the perimeter, they're going to be fine because that's what this team has shown all season sure. long. When the outside shot is falling, BYU wins. BYU has won some games without making 10 threes. It's just much less likely yes. that they win the game without making at least 10 threes and at least shooting 32%. Yeah, it... BY, they are who they are right now. Yeah. It's not changing. Yeah. Like, so they, they've got to make some outside shots. And they got to shoot at a certain percentage to feel like they can beat anybody. But, I mean, they beat Kansas. They beat Iowa State. They beat Baylor. They want another shot at Texas Tech. The easiest path to get to Texas Tech is clearly facing Oklahoma State. We're talking about one team is two games above 500, the other is seven below 500. Okay. Oklahoma State's 4-14 four in Big 12 play. UCF having won three of the last five to close out their regular season is 7-11. and 11. Six, Almost 60 spots different in net rankings. UCF is 61 in net. Yeah. Oklahoma State's 120. 66 spots different in BPI. Like, so, strangely, like the one loss that BYU has against in the four games they played against, it seems, is, is, is against Oklahoma State. But I'm with you. Like, UCF is on an uptick. Oklahoma State's lost five straight. Just if the Cowboys can figure it out, great. That would mean great potential for BYU yeah. to have an quote unquote easier path to get to Texas. What you're hoping for is that Oklahoma State can channel the same type of game that they had in Stillwater when they faced BYU. Yeah, can, when can everybody you have somebody was make... shooting far above their averages and scoring. That's that's what you need in a game like yeah. this. So it's certainly capable, but. You, you hit the nail on the head when you're talking about UCF and their length. All over the floor, their length and the problems that that can cause defensively is, is, is why they have been able to pull those upsets throughout the season. Well, I know that some people are like, well, UCF would be a quad two win. Like, at this point, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore it now. It does not matter. BYU has enough on their resume that they don't need – this first win to be against a quad two opponent. It doesn't have to be. They just that need way. a win. Yes. They just need a win. You need to win and then get yourself an opportunity to beat Texas Tech in a quad one game in the second round. If you beat Texas Tech, then you may just have solidified yourself a four seed yeah. in the NCAA tournament. Give me the easiest <laughs> path to face Texas Tech. Possibly a four seed in Salt Lake City. Are you kidding me? I bring it on. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Jerry Palm is back in my good graces. We'll get to that in just a moment. <laughs> CBS Bracketologist, uh, he wavers greatly uh, depending on how he values the Cougars or devalues them, Jason. <laughs>